dependable, dependable God. It doesn't matter what comes my way, you are still God. Intentional, intentional God. Everything is working out for my Dependable, dependable God. It doesn't matter what comes my way, you are still God. Intentional, intentional God. Everything is working out for my good. Uh, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, excess love, oh. Uh, you love me too much, oh. You love me too much, oh, excess love, oh. Thank you for loving me too much, oh. Unconditionally love, thank you for loving me too much, oh. Thank you for loving me too Unconditionally, thank you for loving me so much. Thank you for loving me. What would I have been? Where would I have been without you? You love me too much. Oh, Kakame. Now I need you be. You are A to Z, and everything in between. Oh, I'm a mama, I'm my soul. Now you be the most high. Eche to biezike, odiro yedika. I'm a mama, I'm a soul. Now you be the most high. Eche to biezike, adiro yedika. Now I'm standing here only because you may. Now I'm standing here. Only because you may now stand in here, only because you may away.
God of creation, clear at the start before the beginning of time. There's no point of reference. You spoke to the dark and fleshed out the wonder of life. And as you speak, I heard your billion galaxies upon In the vapor of your breath, the planet's born. If the stars were made to worship starlight, I can see your heart in everything you made. Every burning star, a single fire of grace. Creation sings your praises all life. Uh, the Lord, let your name be glorified. You are the Lord, let your name be magnified. We give you glory and honor. You are thy Lord, let your name be glorified. You are the Lord, you are the Lord, let your name be glorified. You are the Lord, you are the Lord, let your name be magnified. We give you glory and honor. You are the Lord. May your name be glorified. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. I'm for Omega. There is no one like you. Covenant keeping God. Covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. I'm found the God. There is no one like you. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high. God, Jehovah, Jireh. You are the most high, Jehovah Nancy. You are the most high, Rose of Shalom. You are the most high, I am that I am. You are the most high, God. Do something new in a mist. Something marvelous in a mist. Something beautiful in a mist. Oh Lord, our God. Do something tangible in a mist. Miraculous in a mist. Oh, powerful in a mist. Oh, Lord. We are here again. We are here again. Father. Father, we are here again. Holy Ghost, come and take control. Amen. We are here again, Jesus. We are here again. Father, we are here again. Holy Ghost, come and and take control. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another night of prayers as we hand over the prayers of tonight to Sister Sarugue in the name of Jesus. 
Amen. Amen. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I welcome you to another night of prayer again. Amen. The Lord God Almighty, we have come to seek His face tonight. He shows His mercy and grant us a hard desire in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's really heavily here. I just pray that the weather, I don't know. I have, to, I have to stress my voice now. The rain is too much here, it's too much summer. Okay. I just want to hear my voice. Amen. 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 We are gathered together unto thee. We are gathered together unto thee. Oh, oh, Lord, stand that you have been speaking for me. We are gathering together now unto thee. Unto the Lord, we are gathering together unto thee. Unto the Lord. We are gathered together unto the Lord, unto the Lord, and the doctrine of His people. We are gathered together unto Thee. Jesus, we are here, Savior, oh, we are here, Holy oh, God, we, we are here, we are here, we are here. We are here. Oh, you, Savior, we are here. Jesus, we are here, Holy Ghost, we are here, we are here, Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. In the name of the King of Glory. Lord, we give you praise, we bless you, and we worship your name. Amen. We are done with your name, we reverence your name. Thank you, Father, we worship your name, the beauty of your holiness tonight. Thank we you, thank you because there is none like you. Thank we you, Lord, we our praise and worship tonight. Thank we are you, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for another wonderful time again, your presence. We thank you, Lord, for the money have worked in this hour, God. For your mercy, protection, provision upon our lives, so God. It shall all be the name, the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for this gathering tonight, for bringing us together again, O oh God, and your mercy by your grace, O oh Lord. Say thank you for the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, the God of mercy, we ask for mercy tonight. In any way, Amen. Lord, we will sin against you, show us your face of mercy tonight. Amen. Let mercy take over judgment tonight. Let me see your heart tonight. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, Father, tonight we come against every power that is not from you. Yes, every Lord. Power from the kingdom of death, from the pit of air. Every wondrous spirit, every territorial power, power assigned against our God. We say scatter and down in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, Father, tonight we serve us with the precious blood of Jesus. Lord, we serve us tonight with the precious blood of Jesus. Lord, 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 we invite you tonight. Come and dwell. Come and be with us tonight. Amen. Come Amen. and be one that's not missed tonight. Glorify yourself again in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Prayer tonight. I bring testimony to your glory, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Tonight we declare this altar open. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We are our prayer tonight to open in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Tonight we are going to be praying for the church, the body of Christ, the church of Christ. 
the body of Christ, the church of Christ is not just a structure. It is you and I that made the church a church. Just like this altar of testimony. It's not the altar. It's not what you are seeing there. It's the people that are there that are the altar of testimony. Okay. We are looking at text from the book of Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. I said also unto, that, unto thee, that thou have Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of air shall not prevail against it. Amen. 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 The church Jesus Christ is talking about, he is not talking about the structure, he's talking about we, the members that define the church. Without the people inside the church, the church cannot be church. The beauty cannot just be church. A lot is going on, it's taking place in the body of Christ. There are divisions here and there. So many things are going on. The church of Christ is not like the way it is as in days of old. I remember when I was growing up, when you enter the church, you feel the presence of God, the spirit of God, the touch of God. But now when you enter some church, I don't know. I don't know. You can't differentiate the church from, from hotel, from what is it called? You can't even you don't, you don't know what's going on inside the church. A lot of things is going on. The church have turned upside down. That like the past of darkness, kingdom of darkness, they are taking over the body of Christ, the church of Christ. And Jesus said, that I will build my church upon this rock, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. What is going on in our churches today? A lot of things is going on. Members, pastors, everybody is just living their life, serving God the way we want it, the way we treat us, not the way we treat Christ, not the way God wants it to be. God will help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. It was a day, somebody sent a video clip to me about a pastor that uh, I wanted to hang himself. Thank God he came to rescue the pastors. So when I was watching it, I listened to what the pastor said. He said that the reason he wanted to hang himself, he, was, he said he should even leave, he wanted to hang himself. Police will police keep saying that they have, uh, since he opened his church in 2002, uh, year 2000, year 2000, we only have 15 members in the church. There are people that they attend the same, uh, what's it called, pastoral school together, they open church center together, they are riding the jeep, they are doing that. I was so shocked. What is it myself? Did you open that church to make money before? How can you, because you don't have you don't have this, you want to go and hang yourself. Meaning you open the church for business center. It's not, it's not a church. Mm -mm. So the look at this that is going on in the body of Christ nowadays. This is back for me. I can't ask myself. I don't know. When you see people nowadays, when they are worshiping God, then when they are worshiping God, you feel the presence of God. Now worship is entertainment. The day the sister will leave the place and worship the church, that they will wear macaroni to the church, what you call share, this shirt, I will call it a mimi skirt, that they will wear those kind of things to church, to come and save these people inside the church. And they will use 30 minutes or one hour to worship God without nothing. I remember there was a church that invited me when I went to that place. It was a youth program. At the end, they said we should come and uh, advise youth. When I take the mic, when I finish what I was saying, the, the pastor took the mic again and speak, uh, I spoke against what I said. Because it's like you want to lose member. Why don't you just say the truth? If you have three members in the church, it's not better than having more to do. That, that, that living, I don't want to, to, to call it. So the pastors here and they, they are seeing misleading people. And if you look at what Jesus Christ said in the book of Matthew chapter 7, verse 15, he said, Beware of fake prophets, which comes to you in sheep clothing. But inwardly, they are what? Roving wolves. There are so many here and there. Everybody just pastor, 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 pastor. Okay, look at this pastor now. I don't know. I was not asking myself. Did you even know why God called you? What God called you for? How can you, because of people are buying cars, they are doing this, you don't have, you want to go and hang yourself. The book of Ephesians says that 4, verse 11 to 12 said, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and, and teachers. The verse 12 said, he said for the for the perfection of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Everybody wants to be pastors. People do that evangelists want to be pastors because they want to make money. They want to write journals, they want to do that. It's just to make money to cost. When you go to Facebook, oh my God. I don't know, everybody's not pastors. They're just pastors there. The silly people here and there, preaching, what is it called? Yeah, when you have that, what they are churches, they don't even have the place that they are churches. Their churches is in their Facebook. That what they are just their face to his Facebook. Is it people here and there? This one is proper. This one is, this one is I don't know who is giving them those titles. Those are just titles. God will help us. Man. A lot of persons have made a mistake going from one pastor to another. To the pastor, you are going to go and meet someone. Then they even miss it. They already miss it. They already miss it. We don't want to tell, tell each other the truth again. 
just because we need member, we want member, we don't, we don't say the truth again. People do whatever they want to do inside the church, pastor do whatever they want to do inside the church. Is it the pastor to preach salvation, preach holiness? No, because they preach just people will not come to church again. What we just do about just to preach uh, uh, prosperity, prophecy, all those kind of things. That's what they, they will say. And people want that. That's what people want to hear. When you preach salvation, you preach what is holiness, they don't want to hear that. It's what they want to hear, they will hear. And there's, there's confusion here and there. A lot of things is going on. I remember there was a work before, the, the, the proprietor's wife. She says, she's a pastor. She told me sometime ago that God speaks to her, that she don't use hearing. She don't use hearing. Everybody says, I know her. That's okay. If God speaks to you not to use hearing, fine. Don't use it to disturb other person. He speaks to you direct. She doesn't use hearing. She doesn't use attachment. She doesn't play test. She doesn't do all those kind of people paints. But they get to a time. If, but let me say four years later, this woman started changing. Instead of wearing a, instead of a painting, ah, it's called my coach has not called me. So they'll call her my friend. So your your Christian sister. Have you not seen uh, your friend? She have changed. You are saying, what is it? When I got close, and I saw that she's using what's your American Medicaid. She now started painting. Ah, now you start to ask her, this is your makeup, I like it too. And she says, my sister said I should be using it too. And she said, it's not good, I just leave my face like that. I say, hey. but you said God spoke to you. Well, the revelation, he spoke to you direct. I was just laughing. Why are we deceiving ourselves? The other day, I don't even tell her I was coming to her house. I went to her house. When I got there, what I saw this woman, what I saw her putting on, she wore trousers. The way she dressed, I was so shocked. She just surprised when she saw me. She didn't know that I was coming. This is somebody that is preaching, telling you, God said, don't use it, don't use it, don't use that. But she's not using it at all inside. Why are we deceiving ourselves? What are we talking about? The, the body of Christ is just, it's just, it's just it's tearing apart. A lot of things are going on. People are just doing it the way they want. We're going to pray tonight that God Almighty should visit his church again. He should visit his church again before the, 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 the fake prophet, they, they, they turn the church upside down. You don't even know the one that is church again. They just put somebody there. You see Jesus Christ there. Some they, they preach, they do this, they do that. So what they will preach, they don't do it. But God will help us in the name of Jesus. Tonight, yes. we are going to pray that God Almighty himself will visit the church of Christ, visit his church, mm -hmm. and rededicate his church again, renew his church again, that his spirits will come down. Whenever they worship, they praise, they pray, they praise God, the power of God will come down mightily in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I say we are going to pray. We are going to pray against the spirit of worldliness inside the church. We are going to tell the power of worldliness to depart from the body of Christ tonight. I'm going to pray. Say that spirit of worldliness. Lose your hold in the body of Christ. Lose your hold. Life of ministers and pastors. When you see some pastors and ministers when they dress, you'll be asking yourself if they are pastors and ministers. I don't really know. So I want to pray tonight. Every spirit of worldliness in the body of Christ, in the church of Christ, lose your hold in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray us in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the name of the Lord, I pray tonight. Every spirit of worldliness that has taken over the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Almighty and everlasting Father, the Almighty Jesus, through the spirit of worldliness, through the church of Christ, I command you tonight, wherever you are waiting from, whether from the spirit of God, in the body of Christ, in the life of minister, in the life of pastors, in the congregation, lose your whole mind. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of worldliness, I don't care about you, in the body of Christ, tonight, by the power in the name of Jesus, lose your whole mind. Lose your heart tonight, in the body of Christ. Over the church of Christ, use your own tonight by the power in the name of Jesus. Use your own in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to pray tonight. See, every dark agenda and strategies against the church of Christ be frustrated and die. Some of these things, when you see some pastor telling members, don't worry, God is looking at inward, not outward. 
they are strategic from the pit of air to destroy the body of Christ. The agenda of the wicked or the, of the satanic kingdom. We're going to pray tonight. See, every dark agenda and strategies against the body of Christ be frustrated and die in the name of Jesus. Pray us in, in Jesus. Name. Oh Lord, Lord of men, stay in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every dark agenda and strategies from the kingdom of darkness, from the feet of earth, against the church of Christ, against the body of Christ, against the church of Christ, against the body of Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, power in the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every satanic dark in case you don't know when you are praying for the body of Christ, the church of Christ, you are indirectly praying for yourself. Amen. I want to pray tonight. See, every King Herod, every Jezebel in the body of Christ, wage war against the body of Christ, be disgraced and die. Like this part of the church, they are operating there, Jezebel spirit, they are dear. Inside the church of Christ, when you really enter some church, you have to be told you know that they are dead. What a prayer tonight. Say every king get on. Jezebel's spirit, where you worry against the body of Christ, be this grace and die. Pray us in Jesus' name. Oh, oh, God, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, power in the name of Jesus. I pray to hide every king at all. Every Jezebel's spirit, every spirit touch of Christ, when you worry against the body of Christ, in the name of Jesus. On our family, to put on the church of Christ, Father, power in the name of Jesus, they are dressed on high, they are dressed on high, they are dressed on high, in the mighty name of Jesus, I command it on high, lose your heart on high, over the body of Christ, over the church of Christ, in the name of Jesus, for you shall not prevail, and the church of Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, I grab a father to mine, for in Jesus, Amen. 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 So as we're going to pray tonight, a lot of this is beside the body of Christ. People are doing so many things. Go turn the Bible upside down. They say to what the way we sweet them, we sweet them. They quote the scripture, the way the way we sweet them, not the way it is. So we're going to pray tonight. See every craftiness of the kingdom of darkness against the church of God. Say scatter and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Every craftiness of the kingdom of darkness against the church of God. Scatter and die. We are in Jesus' name. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, power in the name of Jesus. Every craftiness, every discipline in the body of Christ. And now tonight, as a scatter and die in the name of Jesus. Every craftiness of the kingdom of darkness, of the married kingdom, I speak greatly in the body of Christ. In the church of God, in the name of Jesus, as a scatter and die. 
Oh yes, Kata to nine. In the name of Jesus, I pray you come to nine. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Jesus, every craftiness of the kingdom of darkness has been touch of pride. It comes useless tonight. It comes useless tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray to nine. But the power in the name of Jesus, every craftiness, every decision, every kingdom of darkness, that will not be touch of Christ. we scatter in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. I'm going to pray tonight. So every dark arrow, fire against the ministers of God, against the pastors of God in Nigeria, so that in Nigeria, there are some pastors. There's one thing about this pastor. Now, those ones that are really that really have the, 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 the spirit of God in them. You see people try to tend them, do sorts of things against them, try to fall them in one way or the other. They do so many things against them. They tell what they are passing through. You pity some of them. Go to pray tonight. Say that arrow from the kingdom of darkness, from the married kingdom, and I'll be fired against the pastors of God, against the ministers of God in Nigeria, on a similar to put that down in ministry. You are a liar. Die in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray as in Jesus. Oh Lord, Father, power in the name of Jesus. Every dark arrow from the pit of hell, from the marine kingdom, from the witchcraft kingdom, from the sea, from an evil altar, from the fire, from the ministers, from the pastors, from the women of God, from the ministers of the gospel. It is tonight in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every satanic arrow, every marine arrow, every witchcraft arrow. Go back to your sender in the name of Jesus. Father, power in the name of Jesus. Go to your sender in the name of Jesus. Every hour of fire, go bring for shame. Go to the body of your life, to the minister, to the pastor. Who shall not prevail? Who shall not sustain? Father, power in the name of Jesus. Go back to your sender. Back to your sender. Amen. We are still praying. Look at First Corinthians 14, verse 33. He said, For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Spirit and power. Okay, so for God is not for God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Question is an author of confusion. I was asking myself one day, okay, this pastor said that God told her in Revelation, speak to her, you should not be here, you should not do this. Is it I said God and I'll come back to come and tell you again that we should keep on doing this thing again? There's a very popular woman in Benin, minister, a pastor. I don't want to make sure her name. I remember. It was a fellowship there, very popular woman, very big church. I was in that fellowship years ago. This woman always speak about this with one of those kind of things, talk about it, she doesn't use it. But they got to a time, this woman started using it. My friend called me, I was telling me, I said, no, 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 she's not using it. He said, look at it, she's using it. I was so surprised. What is the matter of confusion? If you don't tell you, why do you not say that you say you should don't use this? I said the same people here and there. If you want to do it, use it, you want to use it. The same people. I can I, I ask myself at times. It's not the same Holy Spirit that ministered to this pastor and said that the, the, the member they are putting on trouser. No, it's the Holy Spirit that ministered to the other pastor that the said that there's no wear trouser. 
It's a beautiful thing they said to me so long ago. The pastor said that every, all the women wearing earrings, they are going to have fire. All the women wearing earrings, they are going to have fire. I was just laughing. Because it's not, it's not a lot of confusion. I was just in the Holy Spirit that is, that is ministering to these people. I'm going to pray tonight. See, every spirit of every spirit and part of disunity and confusion in the body of Christ. The Muslim, you look at them, they have one, 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 one saying, one word. But the, the body of Christ divided, so divided here and there. I'm going to pray tonight. See, spirit and part of confusion and disunity operating in the body of Christ. Die in the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer in mm. Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, our God, our Lord, our Lord, our Lord, our Lord, Use your power tonight. Use your own tonight. What is body of Christ? In the name of Jesus. Spirit of confusion. Spirit of disunity. Honor Samuel. Go destroy the church of Christ. Honor Samuel. Go the church of Christ. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of confusion. Spirit of disunity. Operating. In the church of Christ. In the body of Christ. Honor Samuel. Church of Christ, you are a liar. I come against you tonight. By the power in the name of Jesus, lose your heart tonight. Lose your part tonight. For the body of Christ, for the church of Christ, lose your part tonight. For the first minister, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the body of Christ, operate no more. In the mighty name of Jesus, Fall upon the church of Christ. Amen. We are still going to pray tonight. Revelation chapter 3, verse 16 says, So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spat thee out of my mouth. You are, because the Lord said that. He said, If you are not hot, you are not cold. You are neither here, you are not there. What about what? Speak of what? Prayerlessness, powerlessness. The Lord said, what? He will spat you out of his mouth. You either be here or you are there. When you come to prayer, you don't pray. When you come to this, you don't do this. You say you are a Christian. Go to pray tonight. Say the yoke of lukewarmness, the yoke okay. of prayerlessness, the yoke okay. of powerlessness is operating in the body of Christ. Be broken tonight. Prayer mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Oh, yoke of lukewarmness, yoke of prayerlessness, yoke of witness, of Amen. Yeah, I'm going to pray tonight. The book of James chapter 5 verse 17 says, Elijah was a man subject to like passions as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it reigneth not, that it might not rain, and it reigneth not on the earth, but the space of three years and six months. Elijah was what? A man of passion. He prayed. Just like he, he was a human being like us. But was a word. He prayed earnestly. When he prayed, fire would come down. He prayed and he closed what? The heavens that the rain could not fall for three, uh, three and a half years. 
We will see how those kind of pastor this this on here today. Are they still existing? Pastor that can pray. So maybe the moment we just tell you that they, they can pray, they pray for three days of fasting and prayer. I thought that they know. I remember one of my pastors, he didn't know that I was coming. We we're doing the fasting and prayer. When I, he didn't know I was coming, I the pastor was eating. I can still remember. I'm not, I'm not, it's not a joke. I didn't know the pastor. So things are happening. We we'll have those pastors that can sit down and pray. We said that not pray, the more it's past, the more that they are not existing again. They might be existing, but just few. But many of them will come and tell you they are doing 14 days, 21 days fasting and prayer, no food, no water. If God should open your hand, you see many of them, they are hitting. I'm not here to judge them, but I know that it's not easy. But like, we should not see what we cannot do. I've seen, I've even caught one of my pastors like that. I'm going to pray tonight. Say, oh God, arise. Raise men like Elijah and Elisha in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I'm the kingdom of darkness. Jeez. When Elijah pray, that was when fire come down. Elijah did so many things. Elijah, Elijah, and Elisha did so many things. We are going to pray that God should raise men like Elijah, men of God like what Elijah and what Elisha. That will pray that will put up the kingdom of darkness. Pray us in Jesus' name. Father, oh, Lord, the, Lord of mercy, in the name of Jesus Christ, I rise in your power tonight, oh, Father, to raise men like Elijah and Elijah, oh, God, that will be real, oh, God, that will move in the oh, God, in Nigeria, oh, God. when they pray, oh God, things will begin to happen. Take a new devil. In the name of Jesus, Father, raise me. Because we know you will raise men of signs and wonders in a time. Amen. Amen. That's what we're going to pray tonight. The book of Psalm 68, verse 1 said, Let God arise and let what his enemy be scattered. We're going to pray tonight. Say, Oh God, arise in your power tonight. And let every enemies of the church of Christ, the body of God, they like it or not. The church of Christ, they have enemy. They have a lot of enemies here and there. Everyone I will say those are of back of the church, we're going to destroy the church. We're going to say this is the church. We're going to cause confusion. This is the church because they are the world enemy of the world, the church of Christ. We're going to pray tonight. Say, oh God, arise and let every enemy of the church of Christ or the body of Christ scatter in the name of Jesus. Pray us in Jesus. Oh God, arise! Let the enemy of the church of Christ arise! Ah, tonight, ah, let your glory arise and let the enemy of the body of God, let them start of the body of Christ, let them start of Christ, let them start of Christ. Every enemy of God, every enemy of God, every enemy of God, let be as one of God. In the name of God, the Father, they will stand in the name of God. In the name of God, the Holy Spirit, Father, in the name of God, in the name of God, we rise up against all the prayer of God, that we rise up against the prayer life of the children of God, of the church of Christ, every enemy, that we are spies, the first professor, this unity, we are church of God, our tonight of God, our right to God, let us let us help and in the name of Jesus, we not arise against the Christ. Oh Lord, God of mercy, in the name of Christ, in the gate of hell, we fight on the other side. All the saints of God, in the name of Jesus, Father, arise to the high. Let us worship you. We get the Lord, because in the name of Christ, we move on. My God, our Father, tonight, we know in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen.
as people to pray tonight, there are still men of God. They are still like Elijah. There are still men of God. Although there are few, they are not just, they are, they are few. You are only finding that there are few. Go to pray tonight. Say, Lord, in your mercy, make your true ministers a flame, a flame of fire, like Elijah. Mm. That whenever darkness is coming, when they see their father, they will run away. Go to pray for those people, those pastors, those ministers, that are really the true minister of God, that God has really called, doing the work of God in a genuine way. They are not after more, after people's more, after people's more, after seed of what is it called? That as preaching word, God of God, a truthful way. What do pray for them to say, Lord, by your mercy, may them what a flame of fire that mm. like a light, evil mm. cannot be for them and their family that ministry. Prayers mm. in Jesus. Father, in the mighty name, your mercy, Lord, 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 make your true ministers of God, your true servants of God. Those who are called of God, who you are called of God, genuine and not to face a man. Father, may the Lord be a flame of fire, O God, like a light of the most high God, of every one of your servants, in thy name of Jesus, by the gates of hell, may the Lord be a flame of fire, O God, in the kingdom of 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 God, in the name of the Lord, of all, let the Lord go, if the Lord of all, let the Lord come back, that are so many, in the name of the Lord, let the Lord of all, let the Lord of all, become physically at all, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you about Father tonight, for in Jesus we pray, if we pray, amen. Let's go to pray tonight, say, oh God, in your mercy, Purify and rededicate your church afresh. Mm. And let the church move from grace to grace, from glory to glory. So, mm. oh God, in your mercy tonight, purify and dedicate your church afresh. And let your church move from glory to glory. Pray us mm. in Jesus' name. Oh Lord God Thank Almighty, you. in the mighty oh, name of Jesus, Jesus Christ of Christ of Christ 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 Christ. Oh, oh Father, our Father, our Lord, our King, 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 our in the name of God, 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 Amen. We're going to pray tonight. According to our test tonight, the book of Matthew 16, verse 18 says, And I said also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against thee. I'm going to pray tonight. Say, so O God, according to your word in Matthew 16, verse 18, Lord, tonight I rise in your power and contend with every power, every mm. gate of hell that is connected with your church mm. in Nigeria. In the state in Africa, Lord, the power, the gate of hell, what to put down your church. Say, Father, I rise tonight. Let me die in the name of Jesus. Pray in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, 
Into your, your God, into your God, you stand a God that you will build your God upon the rock and the gate of heaven. The mighty God, your mighty power, you will be found with us. I get on the I Lord, I pray for you. I write your message. I write your prophecy. We are still going to pray tonight. Three days ago, I was listening to a program in TV. The man said, he said something. He had a popular program in TV. There was a, a guy. He saw money on the way. The money was two million. So when he saw the money on the way, he said that he went to go and stay somewhere. and said, that I'm going to look for the person that holds this money. If the person anybody should come and start looking for money, I'll give the person the money. Not quite long, a man came, was looking for, looking up at that, checking everywhere, raising the stone. So that has the man, what are you looking for? He's looking for his money. How much is money? He said two million. That's okay. See the money, I've seen it. He said both of them, they can't the money to two million. So when the man not giving me 2,000, he said no, he's not going to take. The man says he said no. So, so the guy said that, yeah, I wish you don't see the person that holds the money. He will take the money to go and, the, go and give his master the money. A master, his master is a Muslim. And the master taught, he taught, he taught him that he told him that whenever you see money on the road that is not your money, according to most, don't take it, you bring it. You do your good for the person that holds the money. So I was so touched. The man is a Christian, though, but a, a, a Muslim, he taught him those, those things. I said his friend was not mocking with the woman. He said, You are a fool. So you should take the money because of what that master, that's a Muslim man, he taught him. He told him so many things. Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. But the body of Christ, who will tell you that? Few pastors will tell you that. Why did he not take it to his pastor? And when I said that, I was asking myself so many things. I said, God, well, it is good. We are going to pray for church. We need prayers. The church needs prayer. The body of Christ needs prayer. If the church taught him all those things, if we are so clear, I will take it to my pastor. But he said, no, to his master that told him those things that it is not going to see money that is not your money, you will return it. And when he will get the money, he said, no, it's not going to take. Because it's not his money. We are going to pray tonight. The power of revival. As in the days of old, the spirit of God, as in the days of old, he should move, fall upon the church of Christ. We need those things. Those things are the days of old. When, when, it, when the days of old, we were going to church. Those things that they used to tell us, they used to tell in church, teach church in church. They don't teach us now and days. Those more, don't teach us now and days. All they teach now is just prosperity. They teach you what was it for? The better well, the teacher will teach you for those, no, that, those days. They don't do it again. When you see money on the floor, those days, you don't take the money. Because they have written that, don't take it. But nowadays, everything has turned upside down. What's going to pray tonight? Say, fire of revival as in the days of old, fall upon the body of Christ, fall upon the church of Christ. That's in Jesus' name. Father, oh, is the power of revival. Oh, power of revival. Oh, Lord. Let that fire as in the days of old, fall upon the body of Christ, fall upon the church of Christ. In the name of Jesus. Fall upon the body of Christ, fall upon the church of Christ. 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 Fall upon the church of Christ
Father tonight. Thank you, Father of the Most High tonight. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. At this time, begin to thank God for His grace that brought you tonight to His altar to pray. Give God the glory tonight. Appreciate it tonight. And soak yourself to keep prayer tonight with the blood of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. I die in the name of Jesus. I thank you tonight. Name of Jesus. I thank you for your anointing and grace to pray tonight. I give you all the glory and celebration. I have won the power of my own. For as we have come, oh Lord, to pray for the body of Christ. Oh Lord, for the mighty. Let your presence be anointing. Oh, be anointing. Fall upon the church of Christ. Fall upon each and every one of us. Fall upon Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we give you praise tonight. Thank we you. thank you because there is no like you. Thank and thank you for another opportunity. Give it to us, oh God, to pray tonight for your church, oh God. Thank Father, you. we are praying tonight. Glorify your nature, this cry in your body, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We pray to that through us, oh God, through our character, oh God. They want to destroy your church, oh God. We are raised our spirit tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Spirit of love, unity to raise, oh God, in your body, oh Lord, in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. And as we Amen. come together as one to pray to it, as oh God, fire will fall down from heaven. Fire Amen. will change up your glory, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we are Amen. praying for your church tonight. We are praying for us, oh God, our pastors, oh God. And it's Father. Grab, oh God, we can your glory in our life, in our ministry, oh God. In the church in this Amen. nation, oh God, to your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We have power. All tasks are kingdom. It's not happy because we are praying tonight. Now, I want to look at the ugliest against us, whether in our dream, in any way, physical or spiritually, we call the part of consider tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, Lord, we command your soul to fill their blood tonight in the mighty name of oh, Jesus. Jesus. So, our life now with the precious blood of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. So, our Jesus. prayers tonight with the blood of Jesus. Lord Thank of you, Jesus. our Father, tonight. For wonders Thank you are done tonight. Thank For in you. Jesus' powerful name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Let's quickly comment, Sister Sarah. Go into the hands of the Lord. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Yes, Everlasting Father, the King of Glory, we thank you, we worship you, we glorify your name for your daughter, our sister that have led our prayer tonight. We ask, O oh Lord, for anointing that brings to you, anointing that refuse every that one of the world. We ask for those anointing to fall on her, we like them, Jesus, anointing of restoration, anointing of faith, anointing of, of faithfulness, anointing of joy, anointing of celebration. Let them fall on her in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because you will guide and protect her, O oh Lord. Like the apple of your eyes, in the name of Jesus, that no weapon formed against her, no household will prosper. Altars and kingdoms that will rise up against her will be destroyed. So, in Jesus, in the miraculous name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of God. Victorious, hallelujah, to the throne of grace and mercy, because we know the church of Christ. And the body of Christ have received a new fire and revival as we say glory mm. be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming out tonight to pray with us. God bless you. Keep you. Watch over you. Sleep in peace and wake in peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good night. Good night, Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. I love you all. The God Almighty love you most. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Love you too. Night, night.
Good night, good night, good night, everybody. Good night, good night, good night, everybody. Good night, mom. Good oh, good night, sister Evelyn. How is everything? Yeah, fine. Okay. Oh, sorry that I've not been able to contact you. Don't be angry. No I will. I would like to talk to you maybe by tomorrow. Okay, no problem, Mama. I'm home. I'm working from home, so I'm always free. <laughs> Okay, this work from home, I hope they don't stop it because it's really benefiting me. They will stop it. They will stop it. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. so Corona, how is, every, how is Daddy and uh, Chachi? They are fine. Okay, they're fine. Okay, so tomorrow. Okay, thank you.